I got a lot of books. I spent more than like more than a hundred dollars. Hey you beautiful people welcome back to a new vlog on our channel read travel become this is one of my favorite type of vlogs where i go to a bookstore and i buy books currently i am in the us in the us i'm not exactly trying to buy books every time i want to read i'm trying to borrow them from the library or borrow them from my friends or you know listen to an audio book or read it on my ipad but paperbacks are paperbacks and the feeling of buying a book is just priceless so i decided to go to a bookstore and buy some good books which i always wanted to read so in this vlog i am going to take you to a bookstore where we are going to buy some quality books i'm going to show you around the bookstore the bookstore is a barnes and noble it's a famous chain of books here in the us you get music merchandise books there's a nice little coffee shop inside as well i'm going to show you a lot of books around it will be a good book recommendation video as well it is going to be a very very interesting video and at the end of the video i'm going to tell you what all books i have bought so make sure you watch the video till the end you may never know which thought or fact may resonate with you and change the course of your life so let's get started very natural to get very overwhelmed in this particular bookstore and the one striking feature i found in american bookstores is that you get a lot of variety in fiction books so generally you when you visit these other stores other bookstores you have a lot of non fiction books displayed but here in this particular store i saw a lot of fiction books especially there was a huge section of young adult uh, books and there was a huge section of fantasy books just like this one i was actually here to buy one of the grisha universe books one of my friends suggested me that i start with six of crows uh, so i was looking out for that book in the whole fantasy section here and i was bewildered with looking at all of the books of fantasy genre here so this is the shadow and bone trilogy which is the original trilogy but i am basically looking out for six of crows which is another duology by the same author and it's all connected so let's see how it goes what i read first This particular section had a 50% off. This is one of the most popular books I've come across these days. I was checking out this particular section is a book talk section where all the books which are trending on TikTok. So TikTok is very huge in the US. So these books are trending on TikTok. They keep changing this particular list and these bo these books are also available at a discounted rate. We have Aristotle, Shadow and Bone, Night of the Living Rays, you know things we ne never got over, Seven Husbands of Elwin Hugo, all those famous books. There are different sections here. This particular section had beautiful fiction covers. I just could not take my eyes off. Look at this cover. It's it's so attractive. Like I could just buy this book looking at this cover. This is the horror section. I recently read a Stephen King novel called Misery and I was seeing Stephen King everywhere. I'm I'm looking forward to reading Pet Cemetery someday. I've heard that is one of his nicer uh, written uh, horror books. Notes from Underground by Dostoevsky. I've always wanted to read Dostoevsky. I'll probably pick up this one. It's a short novella. Let's see. This is the beautiful classic section. Uh, there are multiple books here which have different covers. For example, this one. This is uh, Pride and Prejudice. 
and another pride and prejudice and dostoevsky's crime and punishment all these classic literature novels have these beautiful hardbound covers it's just a treat to look at these books this section here is basically the house on the cerulean sea a beautiful fantasy novel the first book the second book of that series under the whispering door and the third part is also soon coming up which you could sign up for three body problem one of my absolute favorite fantasy science fiction novels the last thing he told us by the cloud at saying all all popular books you can see everything and everywhere here there's a whole section of murakami where you can find literally all of murakami's books right from fiction to non fiction Yeah, we are here at the Stephen King section. He has written so much. I'm I'm always wanted to read this fat Stephen King novel. Let me find it out if I could find it here. Uh I read Misery very, very recently. It was amazing. Uh I also saw the Shawshank Redemption book. I've talked about this on my channel. Yeah, this is the one. This is a time travel historical fiction novel. Look at the size of this book. Uh, it's just scary to pick up this book to even read, but it's one of my TBRs. The fantasy section, no fantasy is complete incom complete without Neil Gaiman's books. You also have Brian Sanderson and all of the Lord of the Rings is everywhere. You find so many covers. There are two books here. One is Lord of the Rings and the other is Dune, which which you can find everywhere. literally everywhere there's a whole graphics novel section yes the recent meme boys meme is coming from this particular graphic novel the boys it was a there was a beautiful minimalist section of poetry books i was just looking at these covers look at this minimalist cover you could just splurge your money here just buying looking at these beautiful covers a whole section of shakespeare of course shakespeare has to be here then obviously they had a personal growth section where you could find literally everything everywhere all the books written by famous personal growth mentors and leadership coach i wanted to read this since a long time after i read essentialism by the same author the recently released jay shetty's book eight rules of love there was a whole young adult section here as well so many books i did not know that america reads a lot of fiction they they are they are very very into fiction and i love that like i think fiction should be promote, promoted as much as non fiction when it comes to reading this is a very interesting section this was a hollywood section where you could find screen plays of hollywood movies just like this one it's a nolan's movie tenet's ka screen play then you also had uh, ghibli studios is uh books it was a graphic book they had the big bang theory then they had uh they had books related to game of thrones they had, oh they had a whole section of visual dictionary of avatar even the recent movie like whatever elements uh went into building the world of avatar harry potter was everywhere again lots of harry potter books Like I said before, Dune was ubiquitous. It was seen everywhere. Beautiful covers of Dune and all the series of books in Dune were written by Frank Herbert. And the science fiction novels had obviously they had a Chekhov's Guide to the Galaxy and many many other popular science fiction books. I was just drooling over the covers of Dune. Just look at those covers. I had to buy meditations this is the whole philosophy section where you could read seneca you could read about stoicism marcus aurelius you could read about kant and everyone everyone so like this book breakfast with seneca it's a dialogue of seneca 
ब्यूटिफुल सेक्शन द फिलोसॉफी सेक्शन इट वॉज अूज सेक्शन आई डो नॉट हैव टाइम अदरवाइज आई वुड हैव चेक आउट एवरी थिंग दिस सेक्शन वॉज द क्लासिक सेक्शन विद ब्यूटिफुल हार्ड कवर्स इट वॉज डिजाइन कस्टमाइज अकॉर्डिंग टू वॉट पीपल वॉन्टेड लुक एट दिस कवर सच अ ब्यूटिफुल कवर all of these covers you have dune here with mon count of monte cristo old man and the sea they had a lot of agatha christi novels here as well norse mythology sun tzu's the art of war beautiful covers just look at this stephen hawking's a brief history of time it's the same book just a different cover so i got a lot of books i spent more than like more than 100 dollars today uh, on books and i'm going to show you all of the books and uh, i just realized we spent around more than 2 hours in the store we were just roaming around and thinking kya lu kya lu kya nahi lu kya nahi lu so it was very very overwhelming uh, seeing a lot of good books around i i came to the bookstore just thinking of buying six of crows but uh, i saw philosophy books i saw meditations i got that I just randomly picked up some other books. I just randomly picked up some stories and fiction books. So it was a very compulsive buying decision to buy whatever I bought. So. Okay, so these are the books which I got today. I spent more than more than a one twenty dollars on these books, but it's gonna be absolutely worth it, I think. The first one is Six of Crows, which is a very very popular Grisha universe book of the Grisha universe. I haven't read the original Shadow and Bone trilogy, but I thought let's just start with this one because one of my friends recommended me that you should start with this one. I know a lot of you will comment down in the comment section that you should have started with Shadow and Bone, but I don't know. I just, I just one of my friends told me that read this, so I got this. So I'm gonna be reviewing all of these books in the channel. So stay tuned if you have, if you want to know the review of any of these books. The next is the very very popular Marco Marcus Aurelius's book Meditations, which is basically his his talks to himself. all of stoicism which ryan holiday talks about and others talk about has has been derived from one of these books so it's a very important read i always wanted this in my collection i have read it in an e copy but i have read it in like pages and not entirely so i wanted a copy of my own where i could make notes and you know and read it in a better depth so this is why i got this book the next is this was gifted to me uh, the next is the road not taken and other poems by robert frost but this is like the 100th anniversary edition book there's just something good about anniversary edition books next is dostoevsky's notes from underground a very important read i had found out about this book from one of jordan peterson's podcasts where he was talking about uh, some some aspect uh, from this book i have read crime and punishment i've made a separate video about crime and punishment which you, which you can check it out uh looking forward to reading this it's a short novella it's not exactly a novel it's a novella next is the henna artist uh i've seen a lot of booktubers talking about this book that was purely the reason of me buying this i have seen many videos on this uh, i love the cover as well just look at the cover it's a beautiful cover it's about uh it's about it's about a central character called lakshmi come to this vibrant pink city of jaipur there she becomes a henna artist and she is in touch with wealthy wealthy women of upper upper class and it's basically her and it's basically her story i need to find out what exactly happens the next is 1000 white women it's the journals of may dodd uh, i found the premise of the book very interesting that's why i bought this uh, it's it's basically a journal it's basically a novel written in a form of a journal format uh, i have to read this it it's apparently a very good read and the next is a very popular asian book it's called wild swans three daughters of china it's written by young chang uh, this was recommended by one of our classmates and this is basically a real life saga of a chinese family over three generations which contains more violence than any film noya more heart rending tragedy than little detroit this there's been a nev- never been a book like this so i don't know it's it's a heavy book it's a politically heavy and tragic story it's a story about a family so i just thought i should have this try this uh, reading about some different culture we just reading indian literature or american literature this is like a chinese literature so let's see how this book is if this book is any good i will definitely make a video on this so yeah these were the books which i have bought uh, i am i'm looking forward to reading all of these please let me know in the comment section if you have read any of these books and stay tuned to my channel if you liked if you watched the video till here 
Thank you so much. If you found any value in this video, don't forget to like this video and comment down below what your thoughts are. And also subscribe to the channel. Lots of interesting content is lined up. Thank you so much for all the love and support. That's all for this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.